Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I have notes today. I'm going to briefly, I know you don't like sit-down talk videos, so I'll make it brief. Um, been really cold, really brutal out there. So cold that my thermometer quits registering at about 2 or 4 degrees at night. Last night around 8.30 it went out. It was showing 2 degrees and that was the end. Then the battery was too weak and it went out. So it's been cold. I've been on the road a lot. Um, got exciting things coming up ahead and I just finished a, I, well I will have a Patreon video for you guys to watch so watch out for that. That'll be coming up. It'll take me time to get it uploaded after this video so watch for it in the coming hours. But I've got a new Patreon update. Um, it took me, you know, I've been on the road a lot. I've been helping friends. They've been helping me, working with neighbors. So I haven't been home much in the last week. There are four less videos and uh, my knee was injured so there are four less videos haven't been able to work much but I'm back in my feet again and once this brutal intense cold spell is over I'll be working more outside but um, I think most of you will understand when it was so cold it's really harsh uh, going from 40 50 degrees to single digits and it's like you're not adjusted to it and anyway um, even my table saw was bogging down the other day the table saw was cold as ice the batteries were cold as ice everything was frozen everything was brutal cold and I couldn't even power up my table saw in the wood shop the other day uh, it was uh, just I think because it was so cold it was drawing more surge than than ever before I've never had a problem out there so just give you an idea how cold it is we're going to start go doing the YouTube giveaways because I was waiting for the silver play button to celebrate my uh, 100,000 subscribers, but it hasn't arrived. I don't know if it's going to arrive, and I've given up on waiting for that. So, you know, we we're going to have a great celebration, and, and uh, you know, all together, Melanie and I are going to sit down and have a pizza celebration with you guys. I have to be careful what words I say or... YouTube will ban my video, but we were going to um, have a great thing, big get-together, uh, and then, pff, well, it's been months. So, we are going to start doing giveaways to commemorate my 100,000 subscribers. We're going to do uh, every month, month and a half, two months, whenever I get a chance. I'm not going to say a specific time, because then people expect it, but... I am going to start giving away things that I've been building up through the years for celebration uh, purposes to give to you guys. I've been saving up for three years buying things to give away and we're going to start that now. So I'll think up new contests, games and ideas and fun stuff for you to, to participate and winners will be chosen each month or as I get to it. Uh, it's going to take me time to prepare all that. and. And then, um, Patreon, I did a lot of talking about Patreon over there. I'm going to set up a new semi-portable solar-powered generator to power some devices in my off-grid tiny house, which will then be mostly off the grid. I think we can reach 100%. I'm going to set up the solar panel mounts next week when it's warmer. I'm going to set up the a battery box outside the tiny house with heat pumped in from the house through the wall to the battery box just from a, a, a PVC pipe and a computer fan in the battery box. Um, no modifications to the existing house, electrical wiring system or any such things so no permits, paperwork or anything needed. I am not going to modify any existing systems. I'm going to build a basically a independent solar generator and then I'm going to have a portable power box with AC, DC and USB outlets which I can sit down quick connect to the generator plug in my laptops, my lamps, my LED TV, computers uh, whatever I want to do and if I want to take and have power outside I quick disconnect take it outside quick connect and I can use power wherever I am using a, uh, uh, an extension cord I'm going to have a really cool setup for that so I can plug in and unplug as needed and 
So that should get me going for now. I sometimes say the word grid tie, but that is the wrong word. We are keeping the grid untouched as a sort of backup system, but we are not using the grid as much anymore. The water heater is 5,000 watts sitting right here in the bedroom. I'm in the bedroom because the ladies are sleeping. Um, we're not using that right now. It's there, it's convenient to have, and we're not going to disconnect it. But we're using the wood stove heated water and the 12 volt shower which will be powered by a separate set of Harbor Freight solar panels on top of the greenhouse and a separate battery bank with just a wire coming in to run the shower. Separate unit there, separate unit up here to power my laptop and some lamps, some plug-in floor lamps and whatever is needed. I do use the portable LED lights all the time, Melanie does too, in the tiny house to save power. These are charged by folding solar panels when it's sunny. They last days, so Yes, we are using portable power. I do use my tablet more than anything when I'm reading or working at night to save more power. So these are things we use to reduce our energy needs. We found out the water pump is 120 volts, so we can eventually get it off the grid, but I'm not financially stable enough to set up the permits and the wiring and all that yet. So we'll figure that out later. That's the only thing yet that I won't be able to do. A um, lot of discussion about my current solar power system. And I'll briefly discuss. Um, everybody's talking about the wiring. They think I'm covering something or hiding something because I don't show the wiring. Well, you're right. I got sick of being harassed by, I don't know if it's good people, bad people, what. Let's just briefly summarize. Anytime I do a wiring project, people yell at me, scream at me, and I got tired of it. It's there, it works, you believe me, you don't, whatever. Okay, it doesn't change a thing in our house. Whether you believe me or not, it doesn't change a thing. It's there, it works, whatever you want to believe, it's there. Um, and it doesn't matter anymore because I'm dismantling everything in the coming week. Actually, I'm working on rerouting and redoing everything to have a portable solar generator unit everything going into there and after that moment I will have meters right now I have no meters so I can't show you what I'm pulling in I don't have any meters on the solar panels out here right now so I can't tell you what I got going on and that was another thing people think I'm hiding something because I can't tell you what I've got coming in so and that's frustrating to me because I know you want to see us living off the grid and I can't really show it to you except to say, hey, look, I got a light. Oh, I got a tablet, but I can't show the meters. I used to show the meters. So starting, once I get the, the, the portable generator hooked up, we're going to start showing the power meter on the side of the house on a daily basis until you get sick of it and say, I'm tired of seeing the meter. But we're going to start showing that and uh, let you know how much we're using each day on the grid. Off the grid setup. We're going to start using the solar generator more, we're going to have meters and gauges and all the happy lights and things, and you'll start to see everything we do from now on. That is going to be exciting. Um, then, briefly, I want to summarize. I am not going to get into it much anymore, but I've been updating my forum with what's been going on behind the scenes. And part of the reason I'm not doing a lot of videos right now is I'm under extreme and severe attack like never before. Um, I'm working on Steam and I'm earning some money there and certain people are not pleased with the fact that I'm earning some money. So um, you guys don't want to hear the drama, I promise not to get into it. Those who are interested, the link to the forum will be below. You guys can read about it yourselves if you're interested. We just understand that I'm under a lot of stress like never before. I mean, words can't ex dis explain. Therefore, um, my videos have been lacking a little bit. It has nothing to do with my work, nothing to do with my attitude for YouTube. I will continue with YouTube. I will continue on as, as usual. And now that my leg is healed, that was another thing that influenced and affected my lack of performance on video. I couldn't walk. I wasn't allowed to work. Uh, well, doctor's orders. I did, but I wasn't supposed to. Now I'm healed, I'm good, and I'm back on my feet. And once this bitter cold spell is passed, I will be back to videos as normal. 
um, hoping to get back to the old RV days, showing everything we do all day. And so, hope that's exciting. Again, the link will be below for those interested. And uh, check out Patreon for those of you who are there. Those of you who are not, I do put up extra stuff there from time to time. And uh, go check it out. Joy from the Do-It-Yourself world and the Off-Grid Project. Talk to you later.